This video introduces the distillation plant that has been installed in the Unit Operations Laboratory at Lafayette College. The purpose of the plant is to provide students with an educational tool through which they can learn about distillation, process control, and other unit operations. Distillation is the process by which mixtures are physically separated based on their differences in relative volatility. It involves three major components, a column, a reboiler, and a condenser. When a mixture is fed to a column, the more volatile components are vaporized in the reboiler, condensed in the condenser, and collected. This condensed vapor is known as the distillate product. Less volatile components remain in the reboiler as a liquid, where it can be collected as the bottom's product. The distillation plant in the Unit Operations Laboratory can be used to achieve up to 99% separation by volume of methanol water or ethanol water mixtures. The plant is equipped with two columns, one packed column and one tray column. The packed column is filled with small pieces of metal, or packing. The tray column contains 18 trays. The purpose of the packing in the trays is to increase the surface area over which downcoming liquid and upcoming vapor contact each other, thus improving separation. For the reboilers, students have the option of utilizing an electric reboiler or a steam reboiler to vaporize the feed mixture. Each column is equipped with a horizontal and a vertical partial condenser, where a fraction of the upcoming vapor is condensed and sent back to the column. This is known as the reflux. The remaining vapor continues on to be collected as distillate product. By having horizontal and vertical condensers, students can study how the overall separation is affected by the different orientations. Cooling water is used as medium for condensing vapors in all condensers and can be run in either co-current or counter-current fashion. The plant may be run in up to 16 different configurations by mixing and matching the different columns, free boilers, condensers, and cooling water arrangements. Students may also operate one column or both columns at any given time through the use of two control stations featuring dual human machine interfaces, or HMIs. To learn more about the operation of the distillation plant, watch the related videos on the Lafayette CHBE YouTube channel.